Hey guys, got another great card trick to you today. First I'm going to do the performance, then I'm going to show you how to do it. So first thing I'm going to do, just going to riffle through the cards, and the spectator, which is going to be, I'm going to do it, I'm going to say when to stop, so I'm going to go stop. Okay, say so stop there. So, now, you can randomly stop anywhere in the deck, and just to show you that this is completely random, I'm going to take a completely random cut, so you can't you see I'm not getting any, like, quick little breaks. Now, pick either one of the two decks, let's say you pick this one here, okay? See? Now pick a number between 1 and 5, okay? So you're going to go 3, so you're going to go 1, 2, 3, and that'll be your card, which is the 9 of diamonds. So what we're going to have you do, you're going to have to place, place you back on this deck here, so that 9 of diamonds, it's going to rest on the top here. Now let's just put these back together. Now, I'm going to command the nine of diamonds to reveal itself to us. Now, I don't know it's a nine of diamonds, if you're doing this properly. Now, if you can't see that, you can't see that, I just went a bit out of the screen. There's a card there that's turned over. Now, that isn't the nine of diamonds. That's the five. Now, there obviously wasn't enough magic in the air, unfortunately. So, let's just see what this, maybe this five is trying to tell us something. Okay, let's count five cards. One, two, three, four. <coughs> there it is. Your card, the Nine of Diamonds. But the magic isn't over yet. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll just show you how it's done. This trick does use a setup, but that setup is very, very easy to do and takes no time to set up. All you need is the four aces at the bottom of the deck, like that, and then one overturned five. That is all you need. Then uh, you get them to stop, put the two decks down, get them to choose a deck. Uh, it, doesn't matter, it, it, does, it does not matter which deck they choose. Um, if they choose this, choose this deck here, it's going to do the exact same thing as if they were to choose this deck here. Okay, so let's say they choose this one here. Now, just for added security, this one, which is on the top of the deck, you're going to cut it. This is random cut. Let's place it underneath, just to show them that you're not trying to force a card. Then you say, okay, now pick a number between 1 and 5. Say, say 3. Then you're going to count down 3 cards, and then, and then hand them, normally you'd hand them, the, that next card, face down. Say, okay. Get the card, don't let me see it. 3 of clubs. Then these go back on top, and then we're going to get them to put their card on top of the deck, which doesn't have the ace on the bottom, because the aces have to go on top of their card. Doesn't matter how you do that, but just make sure they don't put it on top of the pile that does the aces. Then you're going to put the ace on top, and then you simply just do what I do. You you tell them to sink pick the card in their head. And you're gonna you're gonna tell it to reveal itself to us, but it doesn't. Now you there are, there are ways you can blame this on them. You can say, was it a five? No. Was it a diamond? No. Was it a red card? No. And then you can say, well, you obviously weren't thinking hard enough, but maybe this five is trying to tell us something. Count up. There's five cards. The fifth card is theirs. Now it's up to you how you present the four aces. Personally, I like to say, but the magic isn't over yet. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and see you again soon.